Hey, what's up guys? This is uh, Shrim with uh, something a little different this time. Um, this is going to be more of a kind of topical vlog, I guess. I'm going to focus on one topic and just kind of discuss it. Eventually, along the like as I progress and get better at doing these, I'd like to have a gameplay going over it so you don't have to see my face every time. But, um, you know. But yeah, um, it all kind of started out, like, my whole idea for branching off into topical was because, like, my vlogs, like, they just got stale, you know? Like, I mean, you can see my face and it'll be, like, cool, like, the first time, but, like, after that, it's just so boring, dude. Like, I didn't enjoy making them that much, and I didn't think you guys really enjoyed watching them all that much. So, you know, I'm trying something a little different this time. I know people like my sensei, uh, first impressions, and I'm still gonna be doing a review for that, so... Just trying to make sure all, I get like all the major aspects that like an actual like review company like maybe like PC Mag or something like that would actually cover. So you know it's gonna take a little more time. Um, but yeah, like what I want to talk about today is being emotionally callous. And honestly, I don't know if I made up this term or not. And but it makes sense like in my head when I was thinking about it this morning. So and then what I kind of mean when I say like emotionally callous is um. You know, I'll do like a direct gaming example because that's how I kind of think about it and I mean this is a gaming vlog so <laughs> but yeah like being emotionally callous like what I kind of attribute to that is um I don't know if any of you guys like followed Quake back in the day or like CS or like um, Starcraft like I mean it's kind of a broad genre um, or a broad range of genres a little bit but if you ever see any of the SC2 pros or like FPS pros, like you see them play the game, you see them like work on their mechanics, you see them stream, like it's ridiculous, you know, like they go through their scrims, like yo, they'll get hype and stuff, but like just their amount of like displacement from their emotions, like how like a normal person or like casual gamer like me or anyone else would be like, let's say like I was playing League of Legends or I was playing Dota because I'm most familiar with the MOBA genre right now. But let's say I lose a game. Like, I'm really pissed. I'm just like, I hate this game. Like, this is the worst game ever. Like, this is ridiculous. But then when you see, like, these top-tier, like, teams, like, in top-tier players, like, they lose a game, they're just like, okay. Like, I'm going to queue up for another one right now. Like, it's nothing on them. And, like, I don't know. For me, like, it has, like, a lot of admiration because, like, these guys, they grind their mechanical skill, man. They just grind their mechanical skill, like, all day. And I think, like, that detachment from letting the game, like, influence how you feel emotionally is, like, what kind of gives them their success, you know? Because, like, let's say... I think everyone's kind of like this in the beginning, though. Like, I think if anyone started playing League of Legends just like 24-7, like, eventually you would just become emotionally callous and you would not care about your rating. You'd just be like, I'm playing this game, I'm grinding my mechanics, this is whatever. But, yeah, it's just very, I don't know, it's just very ridiculous. Like, it blows my mind a little bit. Like, I've been thinking about this because I used to play Quake like a long time ago. And um, I don't know if anyone's seen like Shoot Mania, but like this is like the new FPS. This is like the FPS of the future right here, or at least co next couple years. And uh, I was watching a qualifier for it today, and it was just so good, dude. And then it just brought me back to this like 14 year old trim where like, oh, all I did, like, I feel like with FPSs, at least for me, like it's a lot easier for me to be emotionally callous. Like, cause I mean, it's like I'm playing a public game, I'm picking, I'm playing like pickup scrims, like, dog, I don't care. Like, you know, as long as I slay well and get my shots on, that's exactly what they're made for. And I think that's one thing that the MOBA community kind of... I think it's within the game itself, though. Because, like, you're dedicating an hour of your time, like a boring... Like, let's say I'm playing a hard carry. Let's say I'm playing, like, Faceless Void. I'm dedicating pretty much all my time in lane to farming. Let's say just, like, my team feeds. All right, let's just say everyone just dies all the time. And then that half hour that I spent farming it's so easy to instead of looking at the bright side of oh I spent all this time working on the mechanic of farming you know I had 50 CS by 10 minutes 60 CS by 10 minutes you know I'm hitting some like tricksy status and I hit 70 CS like that's ridiculous but instead of that you look at the negative side and you're just like wow this game was so stupid my teammates are retarded like 
this is so dumb, I wasted so much time, I'm so frustrated. That frustration, man, is what I think inhibits progress, like a big amount. And, um, you know, it's kind of like the flip side as well, like, because for me, emotional, um, being emotionally callous is very, very, like, the way I view it is it's essential to be competitive in anything. Like, I'll give you an example from when I was back in high school, and I used to, this was, like, before I started playing video games, or PC video games, at least. Like, I play, um, I play lacrosse. I was, like, pretty serious about it. Um, I was, like, top ten in my high school. But the thing was, like, I, I remember this to this day, because it's so stupid, and, um, like, looking back, like, it was a good decision for me. Because what I did is, like, at my high school for freshmen, um, you have a chance to play junior varsity just like every other high school. And, like, from there you can kind of, like, network and you can do all these things to make yourself, like, a better player. And you're also playing against all these, like, better players. <laughs> Let me get a drink of water. <coughs> my throat's really dry. Sorry about that. But, yeah, what I did is... So first week of tryouts, I grinded so hard. I don't think I've ever worked harder to impress coaches in my life. Like, that's back when I was actually fit and I wasn't like smoking and shit like that. And so, you know, I was like grinding so hard. So I go to the coach's office, I get called in there and he's like, Sam, I want you to, you're fucking top 10, all right? Like you're, I'm gonna give you a week and then we're gonna pick five out of the top 10 players to go play on JV. And me being like a freshman in high school, I played lacrosse for fun. Like, I wanted to take it serious, but I don't know. I was just kind of took friend precedent over that stuff. So what I did was I kind of threw my uh, tryout. Like, because none of my friends were there. Like, none of my friends were like that great at lacrosse. Like, they were all right. They were good. They just weren't like at that level. So I threw it completely. Like, I just played like shit for like a week because <laughs> I wasn't having fun. But, like, I think to be successful, like, competitive in anything, like, even in video games, and <clears throat> especially with team play, it has to be, like, yo, like, I gotta look out for myself right now. Like, I want to be, like, a competitive gamer. You know, like, and I don't consider myself a competitive gamer. Like, I consider myself, like, an enthusiast. Like, I love video games, you know, like, I just like playing. I haven't actually focused on a game really hard since like sophomore year or some shit like modern warfare 2 on xbox <laughs> but yeah you have to like that ability to say to yourself yo like this is my goal i'm not gonna let anyone get in between that so like let's say i was on a team with like four of my close friends on let's use lol as an example since that's a very common example and within zg a lot of people play lol so let's say I'm, let's say I'm 1700 yellow, okay? So I'm playing with my friends, like these could be online friends, these could be people I go to university with, this could be like anyone. Just people I know and people I enjoy playing with. So my team, let's say we start playing normals, you know, we kind of like, we all have kind of chemistry, we go into rank fives. So first three games we win, because I mean, honestly, who loses the first three games in rank fives? And then, the fourth game, or fifth game, or sixth game, or seventh, just you start playing against really good teams, and you s notice that your friends are not up to par with you. See, like, right then, you have the decision. You can either say, I'm going to go look for a team because I want to take this serious. Or you can say to yourself, you know, these are my friends. I like playing with them. I'm not going to trash my goal. Or I'm not going to pursue my goal if I have to trash my friends. And, um... That's where I think being emotionally callous really, really comes in because you have to separate like friendships and like emotional relationships from your gaming to an extent. Like I'm not saying like, oh my God, you can never play with your friends. Like it's not like that, but like if you really want to be like a success successful team, I mean, this is just from my um, point of view. I might be biased. You know, call me out in the comments if it is like, be like, yo, I think you're completely wrong because of this, this, and this. We can have like a good discussion on it. Like, call me up on Skype, like, it's whatever. But yeah, like, I don't know. Just, I think you have to be able to draw that line to be truly good at a game. And then, um, you know, that's, this is a long vlog, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I know I rambled a lot. You know, this is the first one, so. Um, I'm gonna be working on, 
organization more you know give me feedback please like honestly like if any of my vlogs needs feedback it's this one because i really want to start taking a turn for the better with my um my vlogs and um just content i'm doing because <clears throat> you know i want to give something i want to put my ideas out there i want people to challenge my ideas so either i'll become more firm in my beliefs or i'll be um challenged enough where i'll be like oh okay like you know this way seems a lot more logical than the way i was thinking so yeah i want this to be like a really big like dialogue for like me and anyone who watches like i want you guys to feel free to like if i'm on team speak like be like yo sam like yo i really like that vlog but um yo you were completely wrong i mean don't come in there and be like yo you're a fucking d-bag like you're a dumbass like i'm just gonna be like fuck you but um if you want to have like a really good conversation about it and a debate about it, like honestly, just come hit me up. But yeah, this is about it for this one. Um, yeah, so I'll catch you later, bros.